Welcome back to the channel guys. Here at Old School Gamers we cover a lot of how to's and today we're going to cover how to install Hipsius for your PC. So Hipsius is a SDL2 version fork of Daphne and Singe for the Laserdisc game emulation, you know, for games such as Dragon's Lair. And today I'm going to show you how to set it up on the Windows. It's not too difficult and I'm going to walk you through it, so let's get to it. So the first link you're going to need is Dirtback John's GitHub and don't worry, I'll put any links that you need in the description, so check it out there. So here on the main page you're going to see a lot of content, so let's simplify it just a little bit. First, you're going to click on that link that says here on the Windows section. That way we can download what we need to get started. And this will take you to the Hipsia Singe, you know, Windows main page. And just click the here link next to download for the latest version. So you're going to want to download the latest Hipsia Singe win64.zip file. Once you do that, you're going to extract it to its own folder. Now, if you're running in standalone mode, you can place this on your C drive or wherever you like. I'm running my lunchbox off of my external drive, so I'm going to put Hipsia Singe folder, you know, under my lunchbox emulators folder. So next, let's go over the file structure quickly because it does differ from PC to Pi. So check out this readme. Now first let me give a shout out to Widge and Luther Gond. This readme is from the Hipsia Singe Multiplayer Edition of Crime Patrol. That's right, Multiplayer Edition. So Widge and Luther Gond, aka Storm Bubbles, have been hard at work updating these games for Hipsia Singe. That way we can have, you know, two mouse inputs and allow two players at the same time. And trust me, their efforts have been well worth it. This game is a lot of fun as two players. So now in full color and optional scan lines, we get to play the very first two player Hipsia Sins version of these games and I love it. So definitely give Widge some love and go follow his channel cause you can definitely get all the latest updates there on when those games become available because they are modifying them as we speak. And I will definitely put a link to his YouTube channel in the description as well. So on the top is the examples of the Pi structure with Daphne ROMs as an example, and you'll notice that it has Daphne under the ROMs folder. Now the Windows folder structure on the bottom is different. So instead of ROMs, your games are going to go under Hipsius, then under Singe. So in my example of Crime Patrol, let's take a look at the file structures and make sure I have everything correctly. So under Singe, we're going to put our folder for the Crime Patrol ROM. And I'm just going to paste it in there. You know, this is my copy and I'm going to name it the same way that the files are in the folder. So in this folder, this is where you need to put your zipped Lua ROM, which is now supported in version 2.11.2. Thank you, Dirtbag John. And along with that file, you need your M2V and OGG game files and your frame file, which is your .txt. And if you notice, I have the extra versions of the M2V and OGG files. Uh, these have additional animations and some other graphics. Don't worry about those if you don't have them, but just know that you'll need all of your M2V and OGG files in this directory. So I'm going to be grabbing the base ones as well from my personal collection and put them in here so that we can have them all in the same folder. All right, that's all completed so let's do a double check real quick of the folder name and structure and make sure everything is correct and everything does look good so let's go over to the batch files now and we're going to go back to dirtbag john's github to download these so the batch file makes it very simple so that you can launch the games and it gives you all the arguments and any switches that you need to implement such as bezels or multi-mouse if you're using two guns and he made this very convenient having pre-written a lot of them so that we don't have to do this work ourselves so let's extract the batch file download and we're going to copy them into the batch folder under hipsius In this folder, you will find two that are already there. Go ahead and delete them if you want. They're just examples. 
One thing to note when you're looking at this download and all these batch files is that you're going to see that they're set up for Action Max, Daphne, and Singe Games, but for this example, we're just going to do the Singe Game Crime Patrol. So let's open one up and see what we're working with here. All right, so this one is for Crime Patrol, and as you can see, it has a lot of options. So if you don't know what these options do or you want to see what other options are available, Dirtbag John has them all listed out so that you can see on his website. Very cool. One of the options that are missing on this one is the bezels. And if you love bezels like I do, we're going to go ahead and download those next. So let's go back to Dirtbag John's GitHub site and let's download that batch file for all the bezels because we want to add that switch to the batch file so that when the game loads, we have the bezels loaded for the game as well. So once you download the bezels, go ahead and extract those and we're going to upload those to the bezel folder. And once that's done, what we're going to do is go back to that batch file and now we can edit the file and we can add bezels and point to the bezel file that we like. Okay, so let's open the Minnie Mouse and regular Crime Patrol batch files for a quick comparison. I want you to notice that the Minnie Mouse is named so because it has that option and it also has remarks for the optional crosshairs. So I'm going to update the folders referenced in this batch file since mine are named Crime Patrol HD to let me know that this batch file will launch the HD version of the game. I'll save this one as Singe Crime Patrol HD Minnie Mouse .bat. And remember, the idea is that you can customize the batch file to whatever you want. Just make sure that it matches your file names and your folder structures. So now what we're going to do is add some bezels. So if you read the list of options available, you'll find that the bezel argument is available. Just use it and reference the path and the name of the .png file under the bezels folder that you want to use. Now as you can see, there are many options that you can pass into the Hypsia Singe emulator other than just bezels. And I highly recommend reading these as you can customize exactly how you want your games to look and run. It's a really cool part. So one important one is the script option which points to your game. And remember that the Lua ROM can be in a compressed zip format as well. And lastly, if you're using the send in light gun, there is a send in option that allows you to enable a border from one to 10 pixels thick with your color choice as well. Now I'm gonna be playing with this ROM using two send in light guns and this is actually a really cool feature that they added. Now I'm going to be playing this ROM using two send in light guns and this is a really nice feature that was added and it makes it more easier and just simpler to get the border around the screen. All right, so now we can launch the batch file to run and play the game. Uh, you'll notice I've added a few extra things that we didn't cover, like scan lines and no crosshairs just for fun. So tailor it how you like though. But when you launch the batch file, Hypsia Singe will show you the output in a command window. And this is extremely useful if you're troubleshooting at first, so leave the pause in the batch file so that it'll wait for you to hit any key before continuing, just in case you have any issues that you know will pop up because they will show it here. Otherwise, you can remove the pause so that it will just start the ROM automatically. In this case, everything looks great, so since it's the first time, it will start parsing the video file and create a .dat file. And we'll also create a .cfg file under the Hypsius Singe RAM uh, Singe and then game folder. But once that .cfg and those .dat files exist, it will not parse the video file again and it will just load automatically. Now I want to throw a side note. When I ran the batch file for the first time, it parsed the video files, created the .dat files and the .cfg file like it was supposed to. But the game never started. And upon running the batch file any other time after that, it started the game automatically as expected. 
Now, I spoke with Widge and Dirtbag John about this, and it's not the expected behavior, but I did come across it and wanted to make you aware. But if it happens, just run the batch file again, and it's pew pew time. Well, that's it for this video, and I just want to say thank you for taking the time to check out this video, and I really hope you enjoy the Hipsia Singe emulator as much as I do. There's a lot of cool games on that. So comment below, what is your favorite Singe game? And don't forget, make sure you check out Widget's channel so that you can be alerted when the next Singe Light Gun 2-player game is being released. Until then, see ya!